I know I've talked about using cash and I still am a stickler for using cash. Use cash as much as you can, whenever you can, that kind of stuff. I know um, if you're, at, at the very least, the very minimum, if you're going out to eat, you're going out to a restaurant, try to pay your, your server, your waiter, your waitress in cash. Um, just try because if you, let's just use wrong numbers. If, if you add up your bill and you decide, you know, this much percentage I'm going to give her or him, and it's $20 or well, $15 for the group of you. $15 cash, a 10 and a 5, or are you going to break it up? Give it to her or him, we'll say her, and they pocket it. They get it. If you don't, if you write it on the, the bill as the tip, well, it has to go through processing. It will be taxed. And then it may take up to a week or, or even two weeks, depending on how the, the restaurant or the place does the processing, until she sees it. And she may never know who it came from. She may never know, hey, I, I did a good job, so I got this amount of money. Or I did a bad job, so that's why I didn't get this much. It's all put on her, her uh, pay stub in some cases. So she has really no idea, or he has really no idea. And that's bad with that. I mean, then there's no, there's no, nothing saying, well, I should continue to do a good job because I want these big, these tips, um, that kind of stuff. So, and then the fees that are charged, um, or the credit companies, credit card companies, debit card, you know, if you're, you're sponsored by Visa or Magic or whatever, these charges that they charge these, these places charge, um, these credit card companies, these, these restaurants, these stores, these whatever, these commerce, the things of commerce, they get charged from your Visa, your MasterCard, your American Express, Discover, and their fees are ridiculous. I mean, whether you spend a dollar there or a thousand dollars there, this fee is percentage based. So I'll just run through these quick. Um, Visa, you got anything from 1.25 to 2.45, excuse me, 1.25 to 2.45. 5.4 percentage of every, every transaction. Um, MasterCard's 1.29 to 2.64 every transaction. Discover's 1.53 to 2.35 for 2.53, I mean, sorry, of every transaction. American Express is 1.58 to 3.3% of every transaction. And depending on many factors, including the type of transactions, the type of place it is, what they offer, that kind of stuff, those can those fees can go up, be raised even more, or be in a higher note overall, a uh, higher amount, just because of how much they sell of something or what their their main attraction is, their main business is. They will adjust accordingly. So, like I was just at a place for uh, vehicle repair, and I said, I don't have enough cash on me. Is a check all right? And he says, Yes. He said, Yeah. If I you know, if you use American Express or Visa or whatever, he said, that 4% charge, that's, that kills me. He's like, I, I don't charge anymore, but that 4% charge kills me. It all adds up. And just think of that. If you're dealing with these businesses, especially small businesses, if you like them, pay cash because that's how much more they're getting. Because if you don't pay cash, they get stuff taken right off the top, a percentage of that, because you, you chose to use your credit card, your debit card. They get charged for that. They do. They get a percentage of charge for that, whether it's a dollar or a thousand dollars. Four percent, that company's getting taken away, or three percent. It's taken away from your business that you've done business with. It's going right to one of these credit companies. That's it. So think of it as a way beyond keeping your freedom, keeping your, your privacy, and keeping in charge of everything that you want. You're helping save these businesses, especially the small businesses. You know, think of it that way. Try to use cash all you can. Uh, the, the share of customer pay, payments by dollars spent, it, it's ridiculous how it is. Um, I'm going to look at this. Try, so like cards used are like 60, almost 63%. People use cards. You know, um, cash, cash is only 15%. 50% of all transactions are cash. That's ridiculous. That means 63% of all transactions are paying fees to these American Express, Visa, MasterCard. 
they're all getting fees from 63% of all these transactions that these businesses do. Uh, checks are just a sliver, and checks are just like cash. So if you want to start using checks again, I know it's a, it's a dead, dead end or it's a dead you know, tradition, if you want to call it that. Everyone accepts checks for the most part nowadays, except for your crazy places that say they don't accept cash. And they post these out there and they have no idea how much they could be saving if they started taking cash versus all this other stupid crap that's going on to try to get us into a cashless society. Um, and then electronic, electronic payments right now is over 14%. Over 14% electronic payments. That's your swipe, that's your Apple Pay, that's whatever. 14, over 14% is electronic. That's almost as much as cash. Cash is only 15%. People still pay cash. These electronic payments, they still, they charge the, the businesses a fee. Do not use those. Do not use credit cards. You know, do not use even your debit card. Write a check or use cash. Preferably use cash. You'll be having so much more privacy and freedom in these businesses, especially the small businesses. Get so much more money, so much more benefit from these transactions because the minute you stop using cash, they're starting to get taken away. These fees taken out. They're starting to lose over and over and over. This is a real quick video. I'm just, I'm adamant about how much how important it is for people to use cash. And is it uncomfortable? It's not as quick. You know, it's whatever. Get over it. Save these businesses some money, these small businesses. Save yourself some privacy. Get it back and that kind of stuff. And start, start looking into things because it really matters. Because this, this, this path that we're on now is going to be so much more horrendous and horrible two years from now, five years from now, you will not recognize this, this country or your, your state of living. Even from now to then, you will not recognize it because so much is going away and it's going away fast and overnight. Um, so I, I just, I just got to reiterate this again. Use cash from everything you can. There's a reason why their cash is looked down upon. It's not because it's, it's not bad. Because it's a benefit to you and they want the control. So I would use cash for almost everything. And I always say the worst place you can put cash is in the bank. Think about that. The worst place you can put cash, your cash, your money, if you want to call it that, is in the bank. Because once it's in the bank, it is no longer yours. It is not yours. It's the banks. The whole Frank Dodd Act that happened over 10 years ago. It's not yours. It's the banks. Just like I, the example I always use, you lend money to a buddy, you lend them $2,000 for a month. If that relationship severs within that time, if it's no longer existing for whatever reason, you'll never see that $2,000. Maybe you paid your 200 bucks or 100 bucks within a week. You'll never see that $2,000 ever and you will never expect to see it. So that relationship is severed. Just like you got your money, you call it your money, your cash in the bank. And if something happens, they, they go bankrupt, they become fault, they uh, get underwater, they're um, treading water barely, and they're trying to stay afloat. They got to pay some, some people, some lenders, some whatever, some other banks. They're going to use that. They're going to liquidate whatever they have in there from everyone's accounts to make themselves whole. It's the law. It was written and it was changed. Whatever you have in the bank is not yours. It's the bank's. That is the worst place you can have your money. Period. But anyways, I thank you for watching. As always, um, if you like this, like, share, subscribe, and stay vigilant. Protect yourself, protect your family, protect your health, and protect your wealth.